Hi, now this is Frida. Um, I just wanted to show you how to make these lovely booties. They're so cute. I think they're called the Mary Jane booties. Here's the bottom. This is one piece. You start with the from the bottom. Okay, here's one I started. You start with 44 stitches. You knit about eight rows. You knit two sides, back and front. And we're, when you're at the last row, on the seventh row, you knit this part 12 stitches. So you divide that, 12 here and 24 in the middle. And what you do, before you do the 8th row, on the 7th row, you knit 2 together, a total of 24 stitches, to make this lovely front here. That's how it happens. So, when you do 24 stitches, you end up with 12 stitches here. And then here you have 24, uh, you have 12 stitches. So you add 12 more stitches here. You make a little buttonhole. There's the buttonhole that goes here. Then I'm going to make another 12 stitches here. That will go there, like this. Cross. You need about two rows. Don't forget to make the buttonhole on this side as well. So two buttonhole on this one and this one. And then first you do one part like this one. So I'm about to I'm ending here. So this is almost done. See? And I'm gonna add 12 stitches here, make a buttonhole knit about two rows and then cut like like this cut them all at once so this will be done and this side will be done and when you you're done you just sew from here these two sides fold it you sew from here you sew from here. What I did is I did the mattress stitch, sewed it from like that so it can be flat. This is about four inches long, so this will fit uh, three to six months. As you can see, this one is bigger because I did double, I used two strands of yarn. So this is about five inches long, so this will fit up to a year old. You can play with it round, you can play with the stitches if you want. It's up to you and the yarn uh, depends on the yarn. If it's finger weight it will be smaller. If it's uh, lace weight it will be tinier. Depends on the yarn. But what I used is again 44. I'm gonna write this down so you can read it. It's a very simple booty. <laughs> so 44 stitches, 12 here, 24 here and then 12 here and then when you do the last row you cut two 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 so it's about a total of tw uh, 12 stitches here you can see it's smaller and, then, and the front the front looks see how cute it looks I used on this one I used heart pearl buttons this one I used a different kind. Also, I'm uh, selling these. Well, not separately because they're so tiny, and I don't wanna. 
I, I add them on my baby sets. So practically it's going for free. Again, you can see my handmade items at ufer, U -F -E -R, dot etsy, e -T -S -Y, dot com. And what I thought about while I was knitting this, to make this flat, flatter, you can uh, knit this separately. I'm gonna, gonna try to work on that one. Just knit this separately, and then pick up stitches and knit the top. But this is the way how this is worked out. So it's free and everyone can do it. It's very simple. New knitters can easily knit this. So cute. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my Mary Jane booties. They're the same size, but one looks bigger, but unfortunately, no, they're the same. Same stitches. Yeah, when you do two, 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 you can see, you can see how it happens here, the front. I um, sewed the buttons so I can know where I can add, but you, you can sew them later on. And after you did, you sew these edges, you can weave your ends, hide them, and then cut it. Then you will have these little tiny booties. Thank you very much for watching my videos. If you have any questions, please uh, comment, put it under the comment, or send me messages if you want to do it privately. I will try to answer them as quickly as possible. Again, thank you very much. Please don't forget to subscribe and like, or put it on your favorite. <laughs> you have a great day. Happy knitting, happy crocheting, have fun. Bye-bye.